Frost became the first team in five years to score over 50 points against Bucknell on Saturday, and freshman quarterback Peter Poyos did not disappoint with six touchdowns and 378 yards of total offense in a big win in Lewisburg. Hi everyone, I'm Melanie Pulowski and welcome to this Week 7 football edition of Patriot League Roundup. Five games dotted the schedule on Saturday and we have all the highlights right here, including undefeated Fordham's seventh win of the season. But first, let's check out our game of the week. The Bucknell Bison were looking to get their first league win of the season, but Holy Cross stood in the way. The Holy Cross defense kicked off the scoring early in the first quarter when freshman linebacker Kyle Young grabbed his first career interception and returned it 79 yards for the touchdown and the 7-0 lead. It was one of four Crusader interceptions in the game and one of five Bison turnovers. After quarterback Peter Puyos made it 14-0, Bucknell quarterback RJ Nitty connected with Will Carter for a 42-yard touchdown pass to cut it to 14-7. But the Crusaders extended the lead to 30-14 midway through the second quarter when Puyos found Nate Stanley in the back of the end zone for a five-yard touchdown. Nitty tossed a 20-yard touchdown to Kyle Sullivan to cut it to nine at the break, but that was as close as the Bison would get. Puyos scored on a six-yard run early in the third quarter, and he then connected with Khalif Raymond for a 14-yard touchdown to make it 44-27 late in the third, and they went on to a 51-27 win. Number 9 Fordham didn't take long to get on the board against Georgetown on Saturday as Michael Niebrick hit Ryan Wessel for an 8-yard touchdown 3 minutes in to make it 7-0. Two possessions later, Niebrick capped an 80-yard drive with an 8-yard touchdown run, using a strong stiff arm to get the edge and dive in for the 14-0 lead. Fordham increased that lead less than 2 minutes later when Jordan Chapman picked off Isaiah Kemp's pass and returned it 11 yards to make it 21-0. Jared Creighton scored from 13 yards out early in the second quarter to make it 28-0. The Rams cruise to the seventh victory of the season, beating Georgetown 34-12. Number 14 Lehigh traveled to Columbia for a game televised on NBC Sports Network, and after a sluggish first quarter, Lehigh quarterback Brandon Balkowski found a wide-open Tyler Coyle for a six-yard touchdown and the 10-3 lead. Balkowski extended the lead to 17-3 late in the second quarter on one of his two touchdown passes to Lee Kerfis. Lehigh went on to win 24-10 Saturday, improving to 6-1. Princeton got on the board early in the first quarter on one of Quinn Epperly's four touchdown passes, but Lafayette quickly answered as Ross Shurman broke through the line and burst to the outside for a 69-yard touchdown run. He finished with 155 yards and three touchdowns on 22 carries. After a Princeton field goal made it 11-6, Shurman scored again, this time from 18 yards, carrying defenders into the end zone for the 13-11 lead. On their next possession, Shurman capped the 54-yard drive with a one-yard run to make it 20-11 with 156 left in the first quarter. But Princeton rallied to take the lead at halftime and extended it to 28-20 until Andrew Zurich hit Mike Duncan for a 37-yard touchdown to cut it to two points. However, Epperly put it away with a one-yard run early in the fourth to steal the 42-26 win on Saturday. Colgate struggled on Saturday as Stony Brook's Jamil Petit scored a pair of touchdowns in the first half to fuel a 17-0 start. And with a chance to cut into the lead, Colgate quarterback Jake Melville's pass was intercepted by Niam Cheesebro and returned 52 yards for the 24-0 lead. Stony Brook added a field goal in the second half and won 27-3. A pair of league games will kick off this weekend as Holy Cross will host Colgate in a CBS Sports Network telecast and Georgetown will travel to Lehigh for a game on the Patriot League Network. Fordham, Lafayette and Bucknell will all travel to Ivy League opponents. For highlights and scores, tune in to next week's edition of Patriot League Roundup. For the Patriot League Network, I'm Melanie Plasky.